I've got a dentist appointment in 15 minutes. Guess I better get going. I take care of the smile somehow, right? Oh, yeah. And it's a windy day again. It's always either cold or windy. Gotta love this province. So you remember that old green riding mower we used to have? Well, we still have it. It's on dad's uh, utility trailer behind the pickup right now. I got the big guys, diesel and Chevy. Dad fixed up the mower a little bit for us. I really appreciate that. Thanks, dad. He's super good with small engines and stuff. He actually has a business that uh, he does on the side where he fix, fixes small engines. Uh, he used to be a little bit more busy with that, but uh, he's still, it's one of his many talents. He fixes anything. Something's broken, you bring it to dad, you blink and he fixes it, just like that. Anyways, uh, we got it on the trailer behind us and I'm taking it out to our, our land. I'm gonna let the big guys run around a little bit, get some energy out. I wanna test it out today because tomorrow we're going back there, me and Britt both. Uh, today is Sunday when I'm filming this and uh, she's at work. So I'm just gonna go out there and make sure that uh, everything is tip top, working as it should, so that we can go there tomorrow and spend a good part of the day just clearing and, uh, you know, getting it ready a little bit, spending some time out in the sun. It's a little bit rainy out here today. Looks like it might rain, so we may be rained out. We'll see. So yeah, let's head out there and uh, do some mowing. I, I have to keep up with it, otherwise it it overgrows during the summer so quickly, and I don't want to have to clear it all again. I want to clear it once and just keep it cleared, so that when we're ready to build, that uh, at least we don't got to worry about that, right? And also, I'd like to go there with the big guys more often and let them run around in a nice, like, uh, a nice area. Get a nice lawn seated just so that they, uh, they have that area. We can, we have a barbecue out there. We're going to set up a nice screened-in gazebo eventually. My phone's going nuts right now, of course, because I'm driving. That's when everyone wants to talk to me. Everyone wants to talk to me when I'm driving. I mean, I stop the car, my phone never goes off. As soon as I put it in gear, ding, 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 phone always goes off. Does that happen to you guys, too? You know you're in springtime, and you know it's coming around the time where all the guys are pulling out their lawnmowers and comparing the size of their motors and blades and stuff. I pull over for five minutes for this uh, in a parking lot with this mower on the trailer behind me. I have two guys come up to me. Hey, is that thing for sale? What, what, what you got there? You got a craftsman? Man, you can't even get a hold of those anymore. I had a craftsman once he goes on this lawn. <laughs> Sorry about his craftsman mower. And it was interesting. I was interested. It was a good guy. I had to tell him, I'm sorry, no, it's not for sale right now, but it is my craftsman, absolutely. Oh, I've had her for at least 10 years. She's always done the job. I'm taking her out to the bush right now, do some bushwhacking. Oh yeah. You know, that's what it's like to be an adult male in springtime in Canada. All you gotta do is show up with a lawnmower and you'll have all the other guys come to you. You'll have instant friends, just friends. You guys, what a difference it makes when everything turns green. Look at this. Wow, it's like a whole new property. And everything hasn't even completely turned yet. It's still turning more green. Over the next few weeks, it'll get even more. Wow. This is like a whole new plot of land. Diesel, Chevy, look at this. That's amazing. Wow. Look at this Chevy. Look at this. Of course, now the raindrops are starting to fall, but if you look at the sky, it's not gonna, they're not gonna be falling for long. They're probably falling from that cloud over there and they're just reaching the ground right now. All the clouds are moving this way. So that is what's in our future. Been a little bit wet. See, there's the sun. Come on, Chevy. Diesel. Come on. Come check this out, man. Come check this out. Look at this. Like I said, these are just starting to bud. 
So it's gonna get a lot greener in here yet, a lot greener. Look at this, this is, all these bushes here haven't even turned green yet. This is just a little bit. But look at the difference already. Wow. And if I could transfer that smell to you right now, it's the smell of a fresh rainfall out in the woods. Oh man, that's good, that's good. I might have to go into the truck and wait out this, this rain though. Like I said, it shouldn't rain for too long. Probably just like five, 10 minutes. And, uh, here's the old beast. Oh, 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 we're ready to party. She needed a bath anyway, she's dirty. This is here just to hold the seat down because the seat was bouncing like ping, 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 ping in the wind. That's just holding it against the front there and gravity's doing the rest. So I do have to, uh, ooh, man, when you're bald, you really feel every single raindrop. Every single one. Woo -hoo. Chilly. We still have to clear a little bit more here yet. Uh, I think this is where we were at here. Don't go too far, Diesel. And we're gonna go straight through here. So all of that has to come down. Guys, come here. Uh -uh, don't, go, don't go that way. Diesel, Chevy, hey. Hey, 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 come here. The neighbors across the street have this massive black dog, looks like a big bear. It's probably uh, like a big teddy bear. It's probably a really nice dog, but I've never met it yet. And my dogs haven't met that dog yet either. And uh, I want to make sure that their first uh, impression of each other is controlled and uh, positive. And so that they feel comfortable and safe with each other. So that their dog stays on their property. My dog stay on our property. And we don't have issues in the future when we build. I heard the, the neighbors over there calling their dog back to their property right away. So obviously it's not something that they allow their dogs to do. I hope not anyways. Because that's going to be a problem. If you have a neighbor who just lets their dog just wander through the neighborhood. There's a deer right here. There's a deer right here. It's a baby deer. Where's he going? We were spotted. We were spotted. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, who was that? That was Bambi's cousin, okay? Hey, guys, 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 guys. Guys, remember, we're the new people here, okay? We're the intruders right now, okay? That deer probably lives here. We're gonna have to uh, make sure that everybody gets introduced properly. That's exactly why, you move into the bush. We do have neighbors, like I was talking about, they have dogs and they sounded like responsible dog owners. I'm not worried about them really right now. Uh, we got deer walking through the property here. Just came right out into the open, almost right up to the pickup truck here. So it, it's going to take a little while for uh, everybody who lives in the general area and also for the wildlife that live here to get used to our presence here as well. We're going to be building our house here and we're going to have to coexist. Obviously, I'm not going to hunt on my own property here. Uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to anyways. So this will be like, a, I guess, a safe haven for the for the wildlife that don't destroy my property and don't attack my dogs. But uh, a few minutes south here. If we do want to go hunting, you can just go a few minutes further that way and you can go hunting all you want. But that, that's besides the point, though. That was interesting. Did you see that? What do you mean, did we see that? Oh, you do. That was a funny looking dog, man. I don't know what a deer is. Is it a dog? It's a dog, right? Sure looks like a dog. I think it was a dog. I think it was a deer. Uh. It was a baby deer, guys. It's not a dog. Don't chase it, please. I don't really care if my dogs chase the deer. I care if they chase them off my property and onto the neighbor's property. 
that's where I draw the line. They don't know the property lines here yet. Well, I'm glad I brought a sweater just in case. Looks like the rainfall passed us just like I thought. You see, you live out here in Manitoba long enough, you get to know the weather patterns. See, that's south. So the weather always comes from the west. So if you're wondering, huh, I wonder what the weather is going to be like today. Look to the west. It doesn't look too promising, but uh, it, I think that's a rain cloud, but that's over there. And the wind is going this way. So the, the rain will fall probably about, like, I don't know, 30 to 50 miles that way in about half an hour. It's always behind because it's falling right now, right? By the time it hits the ground, that cloud will like be over there. Weatherman Josh here coming at you live. What do I know, right? <laughs> I just know how uh, how weather reacts. I know how the weather reacts around here. Okay, I'm I'm 33 years old. I'm not the oldest guy out there. I'm not the youngest guy out there, but I have a little bit of experience. And I pay attention. Okay? I, I pay attention. I like to know what's coming. That's what's coming. Well, we had to use the power of the Chevy to get her going. Had to give her a little boost there, but we got her going. Dogs are off over there uh, searching for deer poop. I'm about to mount this stallion. Just a couple of hours, probably about two hours we spent here today. Nothing too big. We're gonna be here tomorrow most of the day. So we just got a little head start on tomorrow. We got the driveway mowed in here, that main area over there mowed, and all of this needs to be done. I started cutting down more trees here. Remember, this is our line. And we go straight through there, the big trees back there, and then along there. So we got a little bit of uh, cutting to do tomorrow yet, and then gathering these sticks. And we'll start digging out these roots. I don't have an excavator yet, so we'll probably start digging them out by hand for now. You know. Because we're men. We'll see what happens. Uh, but we're going to come spend most of the day or most of the afternoon here anyways tomorrow. And see how far we can get on this. I'd like to get this as level as possible. And... Uh, Maybe we'll bring some food along. We'll have a little barbecue in the camper there. It's gonna be fun. But for now, uh, today the day the day's work is done. Just uh, an hour or two. Got the AC cranked in here. It's time to go home. Britt's gonna be off work in a little over an hour. Or actually, no, in ten minutes. Shoot, I thought she worked till six. She works till five. Does she work till six? No, she works till six. I think she works till six, and it's four fifty right now. Hey, four fifty. Can you see it? So we have an hour and ten minutes to get back. Feels good being out here, though. What do you guys think? Anything? You guys like it out here? They had a blast. All right, well, let's go home to our tiny little temporary house, shall we? Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Quickly uh, came past here to mom and dad's property around the corner. Haha, <laughs> didn't even hit their little fence here. Let's check in on their property. They got a big piece of land out in here. 
There's dad's dozer. See, a lot of you have said that maybe I should bring this over to our land to help clear our land. That would be fantastic, and I totally agree with you. However, it's not legal. We can't take that down the roads around the corner to my land, and we don't have a trailer that's uh, heavy duty enough to haul that over there. Now, I could obviously borrow one of Work's trailers, but that would be a big hassle. We may do it yet, we may not. I don't know, but for now, Dad needs to do a little bit of work on this. I know he just installed a new muffler on it. You can see it poking out right here. Brand new muffler on there. He's got to do a little bit of work to it yet for it to work properly. Uh, but like I said uh, earlier, Dad is capable of fixing absolutely anything. You challenge him, he will come through. He will fix anything. So their land here is a little bit low. Unfortunately, this is their driveway coming in here. They still got water in here. It did just rain, so there's that. But our land doesn't have any water like this. Our land's a little bit higher. So this is going to be something that they're going to have to deal with. Probably bring in some, uh, some fill. Like, look at this here. Just complete standing water. Yee. This is the first time we've actually seen this land uh, not in winter. I kind of figured it would be a little bit low in here, but you know, they'll have to bring in some fill, uh, build up the driveway in here. The good news is that it's just the driveway in here. I, I think what the previous owners did was they used that bulldozer and they bulldozed a the driveway in here, but they didn't fill it up afterwards. So they dug out an area here for you to go in for the driveway but they made that land lower than the rest of the land around it. Because you, you go over here, look at this, there's, there's no water over here. No flooding whatsoever. Over there on the other side, no flooding at all. It's only in the driveway here. So I'm thinking they dug out the driveway and just left it. Whereas, you know, you're, you're supposed to dig out the driveway and then put in foundation, uh, rocks, gravel the whole bit to lift it back up to a normal level otherwise the water is just going to pool there obviously like this so they got a little bit of work ahead of them but you know all those big trees way back there that's all their land way back there they got a they got a much bigger piece than we do and i'd like to go in here and check it out but uh i'm gonna have to i don't want to get wet either i don't want to get poison ivy Looking over here, totally dry. So he was telling me the other day that there's a lot of water on the property. We're gonna have to walk in there and actually check, but from what I can see here, it's just in the driveway, which is a good sign. Lift up the driveway, drain the water properly out to the road into the ditches, and you'll be fine. It's gonna be a beautiful property once they, once they do build here. You know, once the price of lumber comes back down to earth, Nobody's going to be doing any building. I mean, maybe they will, but <laughs> we're sure not going to be doing any building until that happens. It's uh, pretty crazy out there right now, the price of materials. But we're in no rush either because we want to wait, what, five years at least? So hopefully by the time we're ready to build, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, have more affordable uh, materials to build with. This is going to be mom and dad's plot. And we're, uh, we're about two minutes just around the corner over there. Not too far away. All right. I just wanted to come and check on this here. We're coming back here tomorrow. Maybe I'll go further back in there tomorrow. We'll see. Lots of work to do tomorrow. Can't promise anything. I got the boys with me now, too. Chevy. You ready to go home? How about you, Diesel? You ready to go home? Mom's going to be home soon. Turn dad's trailer. Thank you very much, dad, for letting us use your trailer. We're all set. I feel like we got something done today. That's always a, that's always a good feeling. Oh, these little guys. These little guys, you make me feel important sometimes. 
Let me feel for you. Y'all all excited like you were excited to see me. No, they're just excited that I'm home. Not necessarily that I'm home. They're just excited that someone's home. Come on, guys. Let's go inside. Come on. 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 Go do your thing. Do your thing, man. You guys excited to be home? Excited to be home? Where did everyone go? Well, technically, this isn't home. This is just temporary home. We were home. We left home. We came back here. Chevy. <laughs> no? No? <laughs> I know I said it already, but I cannot wait until our home is built. And we can officially call that space our forever home. <clears throat> Can't wait. Brit should be home within about 30 to 40 minutes. We'll have some good supper. Uh, and then tomorrow I have the day off again. Uh, we're going to be going back to the land and doing some more work together. Spending the day together there. Hope you guys join us.